Hey everyone, it's Alex Babs12345 here with Bratzilla's Magic Night Out, Vampalina, and Jade Jador. This line, uh, while still current, because it's still spring, definitely isn't new, so I really wasn't planning on doing a review on uh, Jade or Cloetta, but then I finally found Vampalina last night, of course, just days after ordering her online, so I'm gonna have two. But yeah, so I finally got Vampalina, and I really wanted to show her off a little bit <laughs> so yeah magic and now here is Jade Jador who is definitely one of my all-time favorites in this line because she's so different from all her other appearances uh, her makeup is drastically different the lips are a really cute metallic uh, hot pink kinda color and then her eyes themselves are actually a lighter shade of red and the pupils are kind of a dark red instead of straight up black and then her eye makeup is very soft and metallic with a little bit of blue liner and then some peachy colors on top and she's just so pretty and yeah and her earrings are these Bratz triangle drop earrings in silver and then her hair is, is another thing that makes her so different from the other jades out there she has her signature bob style, of course, but it's in a super pretty, uh, soft, light pink shade. And yes, it is Saran, of course. And I think that's such a cool look. And then, like I said, all new hats for this line. And Jade's is probably one of my favorites because it's so detailed. Um, it's a black hat with kind of a ruffled brim. And then a molded silver ribbon with Jade's witch mark, the broken heart on it, uh, one half silver, the other half light pink with lots of glitter. Very cool, I love it when they um, get like personalized, that's why I like the basic line so much. And here is Jade's Magic Night Out outfit, which I love, it's so cute, and I love that this spring the Bratzillas are getting really vintage with a lot of their outfits. Um, yeah, so I love this dress, it is light pink, kind of satiny material and over that is a layer of black lace and it just looks so cool I could easily see this on Yasmin or Lily in the Bratz main line so yeah love the dress and then for a belt she has this really cool kind of wiry looking rubber belt that has like black kind of well, wires and then two molded hearts that look like metal buckles with glitter on them and it's just very cool like I said I love it when they get kinda of personalized with the details and accessories for this line and then her cape that actually velcros onto the back of her dress and it is also kind of a satiny material with lots of glitter on it it's a little stiff, which I don't like so much, but I mean, it looks good, so that's okay. And it is hemmed with black stitching. And like I said, it's velcroed onto the back of her dress, so you can take it off if you want to. And then down below, Jade has on adorable thigh-high stockings in black with light pink uh, hemming on the top and I love that, I love thigh highs, love stockings in general, very cool and then her shoes are also a new mold for spring even strappier open toe platform heels with lots of buckles and those are in light pink with black buckles of course and next up is of course Vampalina and since she's the new witch that is introduced in this line, she has a little mini bio on the back of her box that I'll read to you now. I have the power to see in the dark. I'll help you ease your fear, which we saw in the Midnight Beach webisode on the Bratzilla's YouTube channel. Magic power helps you see in the dark. Witch mark fangs, and I love that. Fave pet Batrick, who is sold separately, and I still haven't seen him or Fiona's pet in stores, but I know they're out. Fave class, Nocturnal Bloom Fright, Nocturnal Broom Flights, that's flying after dark. 
so obviously she's perfect for this line with the light up broomsticks. So here's Vampy, and as you can already see, she is just stunning. Love her. She has really light, pale, almost white, frosty blue skin, although it's showing up really blue on my camera for some reason. Um, yeah, but she's not really this blue. <laughs> And her eyes, Bratzilla's, have once again outdone themselves with the eyes. They are just so cool. Um, they're like bright blood red with yellow sunbursts in the middle. And then, of course, her black pupils. And it's just so edgy and out there. Like, so cool. And her eye makeup is kind of smoky purple. And then her eyebrows are very arched. Like, definitely... A cool new look for the Zillas. Uh, love that. And then her lips are kind of a really pretty deep blood red. And she has fuller teeth than the other witches because, since she is a vampire witch, she also has fangs, which were done amazingly and don't look like drool, like other vampire dolls. Mm -hmm. And she also has a bit of blush on, which is pretty noticeable against her blue skin. And then for earrings, she has these chain, well, molded chain drop earrings, kind of like, well, exactly like Midnight Beach Sasha Bella, just in all silver this time. And then her hair, uh, she has a widow's peak, which is not really a common feature on any Playline dolls, so that's awesome. And it is long, luscious, pure white saran, and it goes right about a little past her knees so yeah it's all white except for two chunks in the front and one is jet black and the other is again that really gorgeous blood red color she is just so cool looking <laughs> and her hat is of course brand new mold like I've been saying and it kinda has a spider web looking brim on it which is a really cool detail and then a silver buckle. And here's Vampolina's outfit, which is pretty much her signature outfit going by the webisode. And it is probably the most detailed outfit in the line. Probably one of the most detailed outfits from any Playline doll out right now, to be honest. And yeah, so she has this dress, which is made of this really cool, kind of textured, shimmery blue material. Um, kind of like Wave 1 Cloetta's dress, but, yeah, in blue. And I love the way it shines, as you can see. And the top, like her chest part, is gathered like that. Love the little stitching. And the whole top is has like a row of pearls. Well, faux pearls, obviously. And there's her witch mark that I love so much. The fangs with the lips. Very cool. And then the bottom part of her dress, uh, underneath is kind of like a pencil skirt version, well, pencil skirt done in the same material as the top part. And then over that is this really awesome kind of petticoat. And it's made of a nice stiff material so that it sticks out like it's supposed to. And like I said, I love the um, kind of vintage details in this line. And Vampolina's here goes way back because, as you know, they used to rock these in the way olden days, but under their dresses, so it's cool that Vampolina's kind of given it a Zilla's twist and wearing it on the outside. And as you can see, that's like a stiff netted material, uh, but with some ribbon to kind of give it that caged look. And then at the end, there's this lace-like material. And then she also has awesome thigh-high stockings in white lace with red ribbon trimming. And like, like I said, I love stockings and I love the kind of lace they use for Vampolinas because it's like so skin tight that it looks almost like she has designs on her legs, which I think is so cool. And then her shoes are actually really not that interesting. Um, of course, they're new mold for this spring, uh, but... Uh, the core theme basic jade, you know, the one with the painted face. She has these exact shoes too, so I'm a little used to them, but I mean, everything else con compensates for it. And then her cape is definitely one of the coolest Bratzilla's capes yet. It is amazing collector quality. As you can see, it is 
fully done on like both sides so it's not just like they only paid attention to the outside the inside is nice too and it's this really cool red silky satiny kind of material and it gathers at the bottom like this and it looks almost like uh, curtains from like an opera house so again really awesome old-fashioned kind of detailing and then around the edges at the top it is trimmed with this gathered ruffly kind of pieces and then there's her collar which as you can see is hemmed so it shouldn't fray and what is keeping it all together is a string of pearls and of course the line is called Magic Night Out not just because of what they're wearing but because the dolls dance and I'm trying to do this with one hand here but when you turn their waist from side to side their arms will move up and down and this actually does nothing to limit their articulation like you would think because a lot of dancing dolls you know they have to sacrifice some joints to have a moving gimmick but not the Zillas and it's very fun if you use both hands <laughs> and it's just really really cool yeah and one of the other main features for Magic Night Out is that each doll includes a light up fiber optic broomstick that turns into a magic wand when you change the attachment to this crystal ball which obviously can be used as a crystal ball for the doll and yeah you just pop it on and it's a magic wand for you and to turn it on you just press the button and it lights up and it's not showing up well under these bright lights but you get the idea this one right now is Vampolina's and hers lights up in red although my other two actually light up in white so I'm not sure there might be tons of different colors out there each Bratzilla's Magic Night Out doll comes with one doll that's fully dressed a Bratzilla stand which isn't showing up very well there it is one of the Bratzilla signature broomstick brushes instructions a light up magic wand well brush or wand depending on which of the two included attachments you use so that is Bratzilla's Magic Night Out Vampolina and Jade Jador love these three loving the Bratzillas still um, amazing quality definitely recommend them Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks.